the way that mainstream training and coaching has programmed us, our approach is the exact opposite of who we are. That's why today I want to try to unprogram you a little and maybe help you move in this other direction towards communicating who we are that we're here to help. You know, at the end of the day, I don't care where you get your leads from. You know, you guys don't have to cold call if you don't want to, right? I don't care if you're buying your leads, if you're social media, if you're, uh, I don't really care what, what your avenue is. My thing is, is that I want you to communicate who you are, right? We're all very professional, we're honest, we're hardworking, we're dependable. We're all the things that people want in an agent, okay? But we're not really communicating that well to a lot, to some of our clients, right? We haven't developed that skill of learning how to actually communicate that to our clients whereas like when I go into a listing appointment or something I'm not a, I'm, I literally am walking in with zero expectations I just want to know why they're thinking about selling I want to hear the backstory once I know the backstory I'm huge with wanting to know why and what the story is what's the storyline here what's going on in your life why are you thinking about doing this once i know why then i can really put a solid plan in place so you know it doesn't really matter to me but i'll, I'll go on to say that i think we should all think of ourselves like politicians we should be canvassing the market right canvassing the market letting every person in our market know who we are what we do and that we're here to help we got to start thinking of our business like uh it's more of like a vehicle to help people rather than just agents trying to list and sell properties right so that we can make commissions we need to start looking at our business as a vehicle to, to bring service to the community because closings are happening every day by the truckloads and with using agents so obviously people need to and want to use real estate agents right i think a lot of agents think there's some people out there that just don't want to use agents and stuff like that no look at mls <laughs> look at the amount of closings every day multiply that times two that's how many people a buyer and a seller per deal actually used a real estate agent on a transaction it's crazy high and these people need you they want you and um, you're really doing yourself and there's them a disservice by not making yourself available to them when they decide it's time to buy or sell. So as far as circle prospecting goes and everything, you know, that's basically picking out a subdivision, calling every single person in the subdivision and, and doing exactly what I said, letting them know who you are, what you do, a property down the road sold, and to see if there's anything you can do to help them, right? It's not like, hey, Mr. Seller, you don't know me, I don't know you, but will you sell your house so I can make a commission? Which is what every other script and every other strategy and every other coach teaches. Hey, have you thought about selling? Would you consider moving? You know, if not, then okay, move, move over, Mr. Seller. I have no use for you since you're not gonna make me any money today. Who do you know? Do you know anyone who might make me some money today? It's the complete opposite approach and, and it's completely different from what you should be. And here's the thing. Like I say, you're a professional, honest, you wanna help, but the way that mainstream training and coaching has programmed us, our approach is the exact opposite of who we are. That's why today I wanna to try to unprogram you a little and maybe help you move in this other direction towards communicating who we are that we're here to help. We're not here just to try to sell a piece of property or to get you to list your house right, or to get you to sign a contract or to get you to do this or get you to do this. We don't have to get anyone to do anything. Look at MLS. People are already doing exactly what we want them to do, buy and sell property all day, every day. Boom, 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 all day, every day. Our job, our number one job is not to get listings or close deals. Our number one job before any of that can ever even begin to happen is to make our prospects feel comfortable with us. That's your number one job. Until you can do that on a very high level and you raise the bar of your skill level in that department, then you're not gonna have, you know, we're not even gonna get to the listings and the closings and you may get some here or there, but think about how many you would get if you just solely worked on the skill of making people feel comfortable with you right and helping them understand that you got their back that they're safe with you that you're going to negotiate the best deal for them that you're going to work hard for them you're always going to answer your phone you're going to be consistent you're going to be dependable when you can do that then you're going to win right but that that's called giving a great first impression so we got to canvas the market and give off a lot of these great first impressions that's one machine we need in place 
right? Talking to people on a very frequent basis that we never talked to before to give great first impressions. But on the backside of that, we need a machine to build our personal brand with them from that day forward so they never forget us after that great first impression. That's really the name of the game. So circle prospecting, see here's the thing. When I was coming up in the game, there was no social media, there was no Zillow, there was, there was none of these, there was nothing, <laughs> there was like nothing. And so for me, I had to, I mean, circle prospecting was one of the only things I could really do. In today's world, okay, in today's world, this is literally what I would do in today's world. I would make calls three days, three hours, three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nine to 12. Okay, one day I would do circle prospecting, the next day I would do expires, the next day I would do whatever dealer's choice, but I would put nine hours plus, right, nine hours mandatory plus whatever else I wanted to do in every week, and in the afternoons, I would work on social media and I would work on this and I would work on that and work anything else that I want to do. I would go hard social media, but I would go hard with phone calls as well. Because think about social media. What's the point of social media? The point is to grab a lead to then do what? Call them. Okay, we're going to nurture them. We have a drip campaign. We're going to do this. But the end result after all that is to actually talk to them right on the phone so at some point we got to call them so maybe one day you're doing circle prospecting and the next day you're doing expires the next day you're calling online leads that you picked up all last week or maybe three weeks ago or whatever the process of your nurturing is but the point is without a conversation there's no deals so if conversation is the key to all deals, let's just have as many as we can. I actually built my entire business on circle prospecting, but I'm leaning towards loving expireds, and I'll tell you why. Like I said, I really love to find out why people are doing things. So if I love finding out why people are doing things, then I'm calling expireds and I'm getting exactly what I want because they, they spill the beans. When you call an expired and you say, hey, is this Mr. Johnson? Hey, it's Ricky Kruth. I'm a local real estate agent. How are you doing? Cool. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I saw your house expired uh, or it was, it was on the market last week, last month, last year. You can go back a year. I saw your house was on the market six months ago. Whatever happened with that or what's going on there? And you just shut up and listen to them. They're going to spill the entire story to you. They're going to give you everything. When you know everything, when you know the backstory, we know what's going on in their life, your job is a million times easier. There's a deeper connection. They really feel like you care and you get the job done.